of police and sheriff's departments pulling school resource officers has steadily grown over the last month because of a new law limiting when and how they can restrain students. And with Governor Walls now open to a special session to clarify that law, a new group joined the debate today pushing for the law to remain the same. They spoke just hours ago at the state capitol, which is where John Crowman is live for us tonight. Hi, John. Hey, you know, the group that gathered today say they think that this is an important change and it's an intentional change. They, they don't think it's confusing at all. And they also believe that law enforcement officers still have leeway within this law to do what they have to do to break up fights on school grounds, even with the law the way it's currently changed. Say we know that ain't right. We know that ain't right. And we won't stand for it today. Face down holds are already barred for special education students as well as prison inmates. And those who gathered at the Capitol, including former Minneapolis Superintendent Bernadia Johnson, say there's no need to use physical restraints on any student. Students deserve educators and school resource officers who can ensure safety without resorting to life threatening. Holes. The education bill barred school employees and contractors, which includes SROs, from using physical holds and restraints except to prevent bodily harm or loss of life. If a child throws a tray at the ground, you can't tackle that child or put hands on that child because that's not a threat to others and there's not really a reason to do that. I know how to spell clarity and we all can see with clarity that this law needs to stay intact. Law enforcement groups and Republican lawmakers appeared in the same room last week asking that the new laws be repealed, saying that officers are now liable for lawsuits if they simply try to break up fights on school grounds. Having to navigate the legal confusion surrounding that in a split second sets everyone involved in that situation up for failure. Dangerous prone restraints, chokeholds do not keep our children and our schools safe. But members of this coalition and the Attorney General simply disagree with how law enforcement groups are interpreting the new rules. In those instances where there's a fight going on, there is threat of bodily harm. Restraint and hold can happen in those instances. And more than 30 DFL House members have signed a letter saying they also don't agree with the idea of changing this law. Governor Walls has said he's amenable to a possible special session, but the language would have to be worked out carefully in advance. Back to you. All right. Thank you, John.